Nelly, uh, just finished the, the Pro-Am, probably mm -hmm. had a practice train yesterday. What have you made of the course and in, in your time so far here at Sahali? Yeah, gosh, it's such a beautiful place. Um, definitely have to hit your shots out here. Um, and, yeah, I mean, I didn't get to play in 2016. Um, my sister did, and she just told me, you really have to hit your shots out here, especially your tee shots. And um, it's just a really beautiful golf course as well. So you kind of get lost in the nature out here. All right, we'll go ahead and open it up. Anyone want to start? Yeah. Nelly, you guys have played up in Vancouver, down in Portland, kind of similar northwest kind of courses to this. Is there anything you can take away from those experiences at Shaughnessy and Columbia Edgewater to kind of bring out here? Uh, no, not necessarily. I mean, probably the only thing that you can kind of take away from that is maybe in the mornings it just doesn't fly as far. Um, it's cold in the mornings, even this time of year, versus maybe, you know, anywhere else that we play. So other than that, I mean, it's just a completely different looking golf course in Portland and Vancouver that we played last year. Sarah? It's, it looks really narrow off the tee. And for a player that I know likes to hit her driver, I mean, how many drivers are you going to be taking this week? And, and what kind of golf are you trying to, to play out here with that narrow, those narrow tee shots? Yeah, I'm still going to be aggressive. Um, there's a couple holes where I can't hit driver, but a majority of the round I will be hitting driver just because you don't want a longer club into these greens. I mean, yes, the tee shots are pretty intimidating, but the greens, you know, the second shot in is pretty tough as well. So overall, I mean, you're, you know, if you have the length, you, you may as well, you have to hit it. And this is a type of golf course where, um, you just got to sack up and hit your driver. I know, obviously, the last major we were at was at Lancaster, and I know that prep will probably look different than this prep. What have yeah. you been working on coming into this week to really get yourself ready for this another major test in such yeah. a short amount of time? Yeah, I feel like there's so many majors coming up and so many big events. Um, yeah, I mean, they're two completely different golf courses um, with – Obviously, Lancaster being super undulated, I mean, that was such a hard test, and it was just an amazing golf course. Um, but off the tee, you know, it was, it was narrow, but it wasn't as maybe intimidating with the tree line. Um, I think the rough was a little thicker there than it is here, but, I mean, if you hit it a little offline here off the tee, I mean, you have a bunch of trees in your way, so you're pitching out majority of the time. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I approach every tournament – the same and differently. Um, I'm just trying to make a game plan for this week, and every week is just a refresh. And then I know one of the big storylines this week, in addition to just this major championship, is the Olympic uh, period ends on Monday, which I'm sure everybody's relieved about <laughs> um, for those that are qualified. Reigning gold medalist, what's it mean to just be able to go back to Paris, and how excited are you to, to be there in like a month and a half? I have never been to Paris, and the one thing I'm really looking forward to is the croissants, probably on every corner. <laughs> I love bakeries, and I love baked goods, so that's one thing I'm really looking forward to, and obviously <laughs> representing my country and um, getting to compete in the Olympics is such an incredible opportunity, and I'm just super excited to get there. And even just to play that golf course, I mean, I got to watch it in Ryder Cup, and to be able to play such amazing golf courses like we do nowadays um, will be such a treat. What's the over-under on stroke skin croissant? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I've definitely been crushing too many recently. <laughs> All right, we'll go to Babs and then Beth Ann. Nelly, when you're in a brand new venue, what, what's your normal process to, to learn a place and do you do that pretty quickly? Yeah, I try not to overthink. Um, I try to really, I don't like to practice at events. I'll see, you know, where I need to hit it and where I can't hit it, where, you know, I'll draw, draw some X's on my yardage book and then I'll also, you know, put in my yardage work where I can be aggressive where I can't so and then after that I mean it's just about playing the golf course I mean you can write as many things into your yardage book and you can pick a game plan that you want to execute but uh, typically you know it doesn't happen that way and you just got to adapt so everything's about adapting and that's why I like to go out and just playing the golf course and just seeing the game that I have that day and try to adapt and a lot of people would assume uh, at a missed cut you wouldn't pull anything out of that, but it seems like you could pull momentum out of how you drove it on the Friday. It, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I try 
you can dwell on the negatives, but that'll never lead you anywhere. So um, you try to look at the positives. Um, I, I did hit it really actually good on Thursday afternoon. I just, my course management wasn't very good. I was flying my pins and I was leaving myself in really tough spots and on kind of bumpy po greens in the afternoon. It's kind of hard to be aggressive with your putting and to kind of gain confidence from that. And then um, I did have a good round on Friday and I drove it really well. So trying to take the positives from that, but that's, but that's golf. I mean, I'm going to go through these situations so many times where I feel like I'm playing really well and then I'll go through a little lull where, where, you know, golf is the hardest thing in my life right now. So um, that's, I feel like that's what grows myself as a person and that's what makes me appreciate the sport so much and that's what makes me appreciate the wins and the highs and the good shots and you know the crowds out there as well. But then? Nellie after having so much build earlier in the year as you're winning 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 does does the vibe feel different coming into this week is there less pressure on you you think? I feel like pressure is privilege and you know that's something that um, you're the only one that can kind of control that. Um, you can listen to the outside voices, but at the end of the day, I mean, when you have pressure, then you can take it in a positive way that you are doing good and you are playing well. Um, but, um, yeah, I'm just going to stay in my bubble this week and I'm going to go out and try to execute my shots, be confident in what I have. And um, this golf course is already hard enough. And, if I'm going to put more pressure on myself, then I think it's just going to make it even harder this week. Juan? <clears throat> hey, Nelly, can you tell us about the champion's dinner last night? I mean, what was the best part and what do you enjoy the best? Um, I mean, the dessert was pretty good. Uh, Ronnie picked the menu. We had a tomato and burrata for our appetizer with some sushi and then some really good scallops, steak, broccoli. I mean, can't go wrong with that. And um, uh, at the end of the night, they asked us, everyone had to speak, and everyone asked um, if uh, what their favorite Broadway show and what their favorite movie was. And I think three of us were like, we've never been to a Broadway show. So <laughs> I have not been to one. So um, maybe eventually I will be. I don't spend too much time in New York. But uh, it was nice. It was very intimate. And um, it was actually my first time doing a champion's dinner just because um, you know, in the years prior with COVID and everything since my win, it's been co quite tough, but um, it was cool to get us all in a room with um, everyone. Nelly, any of the holes out here in particular make an impression on you either due to their difficulty or just the, the way they, <clears throat> they present themselves? I think they all are super, super tough. And, um, you know, number one, the tee shot, you know, that's going to be your first tee shot of the day. I mean, that's a really hard hole. And then uh, the par fives, I mean, something like 11 or tw uh, like 10 and 11, those two holes, you know, with the water on the left on 10 and then kind of having to sack up on 11 and kind of take it very close to the left side tree line. Um, but overall, I think every hole looks a little different, but, but, you know, they're all intimidating and they're all great in their own way. Beth Ann? When So Yun Yu gave her a retirement press conference earlier this year, she talked about the fact that she never really enjoyed competition. She wasn't a very competitive person, which is interesting for a former <laughs> number one yeah. player in the world. I'm wondering when you, if you have an early childhood memory of when you realized how much you do love competition, and it doesn't have to be golf related. <laughs> yeah, um, like I grew up um, very much so, like hanging out with the guys. Like I was, <laughs> I was uh, always on during recess during class. I was always the goalie in playing with the boys or I would, we would be playing tag and I feel like the adrenaline and the fun that you had like playing against people and competing I've had since a really young age and even you know we've played sports since we were really young in our family um, but like competing I think back in the day my sister and I played the same exact FCWT I think gosh somewhere in Florida I don't even remember and I won my age group and she won her age group at the time and like those little moments from like competing and um, just looking back, I think that's kind of what fueled my competition. For me, I love the competition in the game. Like I appreciate every golf course that I play. Like I think um, I'm not a huge 
golf course nerd in a sense where I'm like, oh my gosh, this place is like spectacular. Like, t uh, but I'll more of appreciate every golf course that I've played. And I just love the competition playing week in and week out against the girls. And this is kind of random. Did you happen to see or listen to Roger Federer's commencement address at Dartmouth? I've, um, I've seen snippets of it, yeah. Did any of it resonate? It is funny how he's only won, what, like 53% of his points in his lifetime, and that's the same thing with golf. I mean, you know, they get second serves, and maybe, you know, if we mess up and we make a big uh, number on a hole, it's a little bit more penalizing than, you know, if they double fault, let's say, depending on where they are in their match. But it's true. I mean, you're going to fail more than you win, and I think that's what fuels a player as well in sports. Thank you. All right, we'll wrap up with two more here. We'll go Babs and then Sarah. Nelly, back to the Champions Dinner. What what was your favorite movie and who was your favorite athlete? <laughs> yeah. What um, Broadway show do you want to see? So athlete, pretty pretty easy, Nadal. Um, Broadway show, I don't know. I, probably Lion King um, just because I've, I love lions and that was one of my favorite actually movies growing up. Um, now that I said that, I don't really know if... I would, I have a favorite movie, but a show that I watch every single day is Friends. It's like, <laughs> it's just some, a show that like I put on when I fall asleep and when uh, it's just like a feel good show. I laugh at it every single time, no matter how many times I watch the same exact episode, I pick up on something else every single time. Sarah? I know, obviously, 21 was such a big year. You've come into your own this year. You seem so much com more comfortable. You seem super confident. How much, and I, I feel like I ask you this every single time you win, but just how much fun are you having with all of what's been going on this year, with everything you've got going <clears throat> all, going for you off the golf course and on the golf course? How much, just how, how enjoyable has this experience been for you? Yeah, I mean, I think you can kind of dwell in, you know, as athletes, you know, we're never home, we're traveling so much, but I look at it like I get to do what I love for a living. I get to hopefully inspire the next generation. I love seeing the little kids out here. I mean, last week I was like four over through, I don't know how many holes and these ki little kids were giving me like fist pumps and they were like, good job. And I'm like, thank you. <laughs> I'm like a hundred and something, but thank you. <laughs> um, and so that to me is like so much fun doing that out here. And then I have such an amazing team that we're, we always keep it so light, so fun, and we all just, there's no filter. And we just all understand each other, and I love traveling, and hopefully, you know, um, I love competing, yeah, and inspiring the next generation.